It's Wednesday. Phil Lindemann with your Crystal 93 News at Noon. We are checking in with Keystone today from 12,200 feet at the new Bergman chair. Mountain Ops Director Kalina Ko. We have the bottom terminal completely finished. We have a couple of the towers in place and all the foundations dug and in place for concrete pour. Bergman has been swarming with helicopters this summer, flying towers and material, even the water for concrete. At the top terminal here, we have the concrete done and we're just starting to work on erecting the parts. Bergman chair is scheduled to open this ski season, but not for opening day. Season opener at Keystone could be less than a month away, mid-October. Today is the third and final day of jury selection for Leonard Grams, the Summit Middle gym teacher accused of fondling students in class. Attorneys are still worried about low turnout for jury selection. Tomorrow is supposed to be the first day of testimony. A disgraced Vail police officer says he never paid for sex or harassed a local bartender. The Vail Daily reports Adam Bloom was fired soon after he was charged with harassment at a local pizza joint. That case then led to additional charges of soliciting prostitution from weeks earlier. The Denver Art Museum is returning five Asian relics allegedly stolen by shady New York gallery owners. The Denver Post reports this illicit dealing dates back to 1980 when the gallery gifted its first piece to Denver. And this gallery is not the only one. Another art dealer with ties to the Denver Museum recently pleaded guilty to possession of stolen property. Colorado will soon publish a report on use of force by police statewide, but only months after it was promised. This report and a public dashboard are mandated by new laws. Officials tell the Colorado Sun they have been delayed by unexpected tech challenges. This comes as the local district attorney's office is handling two high-profile use of force cases, one of them from Summit Cove, where Summit and Dillon authorities were recently cleared of wrongdoing for shooting and killing 18-year-old Charlie Foster, the other from Silver Plume, where two Clear Creek County Sheriff's deputies are facing murder charges for shooting and killing 22-year-old Christian Glass. Local fire danger remains low today, still with no fire restrictions. In sports, the Rockies lost to the Padres last night 2 to nothing. Today, the Rockies are trying to avoid a sweep, playing the Padres in about two hours at 2.10. Local ski superstar Michaela Schifrin will be in Avon next week at the West End Riverfront, where she is hosting a free community Q&A plus photo ops. Everyone is welcome next Tuesday, 5.30 p.m. at the West End in Avon. And in local sports, brought to you by Cassandra Schultz & Associates with American Family in Dillon. Summit High Girls Volleyball beat Battle Mountain on the road yesterday, three sets to one, improving to 6-6 six and six this season. Boys soccer lost to Battle Mountain at home 5-3, to three, falling to 3-5. and five. Homecoming week continues today with the Tigers golf team on the road for regionals in Grand Junction. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.